Here's how to get shaders in Minecraft 1.21.8. Let's go. Now, guys, the first step is to download Iris. Iris is a shader loader that is going to allow us to load shaders into Minecraft. Click on the second link in the description that is going to put you in this article. This is a quick article in here in case this video is too fast for you. But if you want to go straight to the point, just go down to step one. You can press right here and then press where it says Iris shaders. That is going to redirect you to the Iris site where we're going to go ahead and click where it says download universal jar. And I'll begin the download for the Iris installer right away. And I want you to go ahead and drag and drop this file into your desktop. You're going to find that file here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer. Now, at this moment, if you already have played Minecraft 1.21.8 at least once on your computer and you have closed the game as well as a Minecraft launcher, we are ready to install Iris. All we have to do is double click on it and the Iris installer will open like this. Now, if the Iris installer didn't open for you, don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to fix that in a second. But if it did open, just select 1.21.8 and then go ahead and hit install. Now, if the Iris installer didn't open, like I was saying, that's because you don't have Java 21. So I'll leave you this article in the description. Java 21, it's a requirement when modding Minecraft 1.21.8. So again, this quick article here teaches you how to install Java. You will need this in order to open Iris. Now, once we install Iris, it's going to say completed in here. You could go ahead and close the installer and you could even delete the installer from your desktop. Now, we already have a shader loader, which is going to allow us to load shaders into Minecraft. But now we need some shaders, right? Now, if you don't have any shaders, I'll leave you guys this link down below as well, which gives you our top 10 best free shaders for Minecraft. You could choose whatever shader shaders you want from here but to make this video quick i'm just gonna choose the first one in here blitz shaders if you want some shaders from here just go ahead and click on the link right here as you can see it's on blue just go ahead and click on it that redirects you to the shader page where you're going to select the game version that you want it for and if you don't see 1.21.8 in here don't worry just select the most recent one and then go ahead and download that one because it will work okay and you will see in a second it does work so go ahead and click download the download for the shader pack will begin right away and you will notice that it will download as a zip file and don't worry keep it as a zip file we don't have to unzip it that's how we're going to add it into the game. Now, to add the shader into the game, we have to first open the Minecraft launcher. Go ahead and open it. Now, once the Minecraft launcher opens, if you install Iris properly, you're going to see it selected here automatically. If not, you go ahead over to installations and make sure you select modded right here. And after you select modded, you also will see Iris. Now, all we have to do is go ahead and hit on play. You might get this prompt in here. Just go ahead and click understand. Of course, read through it. And if you agree, hit that. And then hit play one more time and Iris will open. You could also hit play here from the main menu. Now, once the game loads to add the shaders, let's go ahead and launch a single player world. You can also add these shaders to a multiplayer world. And if you don't have a multiplayer server, I'll leave you the first link down below in the description, which will give you 25% off with Apex Housing when making your Minecraft server. Not only would you get a great deal in a server, but you'll be supporting the channel. Now, once we're in the world, as you can see, I already have shaders, but most likely you won't have shaders. And I'm going to go ahead and turn them off. And if you're wondering how I did that, just by pressing K on your keyboard, you'll be able to turn on and off your shaders when using Iris. But first, we need to add those shaders. So to add shaders, what you want to do once you're in the game is go ahead and press Escape and then head over to Oasis Options head over to where it says video settings and then click on shader packs right here on the top and then you will see this menu here where most likely you don't have any shaders but don't worry we're gonna add some shaders right now so like i said you'll be here you most likely don't have any shaders what you have to do is make your game a little bit smaller and also you can see your desktop or whatever you have the shader that we downloaded earlier the zip file and now all you have to do is drag and drop it into here in this case i added bliss shaders if you remember but if you downloaded some other shaders just add it into here once you see it select it and hit apply give it a couple seconds depending on your computer this might take longer than me or even less time than me and then once the shader loads just press done 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 go back to the game and now you have some beautiful shaders in the game and like i told you earlier you could disable these shaders by pressing k on your keyboard and you could enable them again by pressing k one more time but there you guys have it how to get shaders in minecraft 1.21.8 if this video helped you don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time